Hey everyone, so today's kind of a special day because I have grown up with Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball being aired on Toonami or Cartoon Network or whatever. Um, growing up, so it was a big part of my childhood. I watched it with my brothers and it was just a really fun time. Now, when Dragon Ball GT came out, I wasn't really that interested in it. I know my brothers would still watch it and they thought it was pretty cool, but from the few there were a couple of episodes that I have seen. I think I saw one from the Baby Saga or Baby Arc, whatever, and a couple like weird, I'm assuming they were filler episodes and some also from the Omega Shenron arc. I never really watched it as a whole or seen a lot of it, to be honest. I got some of the story through Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi 3 because I believe they, yeah, they have the Omega Shenron and all that. So that's kind of where I got my little pieces of information on those characters. And there are things I also know about like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, how Vegeta became a Super Saiyan 4, kind of like briefly. I guess I don't know all of it, but I know that Bulma used a machine to make him go Super Saiyan 4 or something like that. I don't know, but I feel like as a Dragon Ball fan, you should go through and watch GT and what better way to do it is with you guys. And I just wanted to take you guys along for the journey. There are a lot of people that say GT is okay. GT is not that bad. GT is horrible. And I was actually going to watch the English dub, but a lot of people told me to avoid it. I guess they changed a lot of the dialogue and they sent me some clips and it was pretty bad actually. So today I'm going to watch the subbed version of GT. So I get more of the original story as intended than the dub. So yeah, we're just gonna watch the subbed version. So let's get to it. Poop. Oh, okay, Goku is fighting. I heard a lot of people saying that they did oob. They didn't really develop his character in GT, which is a shame because I was hoping, you know. Maybe, maybe they'll do more than I'm thinking that they're not gonna do, so. What the heck? It's kind of sad. I don't necessarily know exactly how Goku became a kid. I feel like I should have. I should know that, but. I just wish they kept Goku as an adult in GT. Jeez. <laughs> Too strong for them. <laughs> oh. It's like amazing how in Super they keep these guys around and in GT I really hope they don't. My you would have ended up with the trunks. Oob. <laughs> He's like holding him weird. <laughs> Black Star Dragon Balls. They do look cooler though, but. I think that's like a big thing about GT. The Black Star Dragon Balls. Just crying with the dragon ball in his head. Ooh. That's creepy. Are they like honestly gonna summon a dragon with them like right there? Seems like a bad idea. <laughs> oh, is he leaving already? Bye bye, little Ubi. Wee. Okay, how are they gonna get away with this? They're on the other side of the building. 
Like, Coco can get to the other side in two seconds once that dragon. Why would they take it somewhere else? This makes no sense. Shenlong. <laughs> giant dragon in the sky right now. Ooh. You know, I think this dragon was in one of the games, Tenkaichi, or one of them where you can summon the, the red looking dragon. <laughs> they aged so badly. Like, how can they not recognize him with his hair? Someone want to explain to me why Goku is so tan right now? Goku can easily take them out. <laughs> oh, is that how he's gonna turn into a little kid? Well, that's kind of funny. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty great though. <laughs> For some weird reason, I thought Goku made himself into a kid. <laughs> and, okay, but why? Why is he so tan? He was in the hyperbolic time chamber. Like, how did he get so tan? If only. They didn't really make a wish, though. Well, I guess they don't really have to with the dragon. Oh, snap. Poor Chi Chi. <laughs> Can't they, like, reverse that, though? Well, now they're super Dragon Ball, so. Okay, is that what the, is that where they're going with this? Popo's voice is so weird. Oh snap, really? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I want to see Chi Chi's reaction to this. <laughs> oh, guns. Oh, is Goku gonna fight them? <laughs> Goku didn't go home right away and said he went out to like a noodle shop. <laughs> Dude, that guy's way looks way too old for her. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my god, no! <laughs> That was awkward. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, Master Roshi. Always creepy. <laughs> oh, puppy.
Look at how happy they are using the guns. That's a little overkill though. He's still eating when there's stuff going on outside. Pan is so short, oh my gosh. How old is she supposed to be? Looks like she just got smaller from when she was standing next to that guy. You look too young to date, Pan. Oh, snap. She like stopped. Oh, I guess she doesn't know Goku that well. Like kids fighting with each other. This kind of reminds me of Gohan and Videl when she was like taking on those cops. Or not, when Videl was taking on those like thug guys. I like how she just like threw Goku like whoosh. Dumped again. <laughs> that wasn't nice. Fun! Master Roshi has to recognize Goku like that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh. That's kind of cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would be so weird, though, to be older than your grandpa. It's kind of messed up. <laughs> I want to see Chi Chi's reaction to this so bad. <laughs> poor, oh, <laughs> poor Chi Chi. <laughs> Chi Chi has horrible luck in this. <laughs> You know, what if someone wished for, like, everyone to be young again? <laughs> they can just use the Dragon Balls to wish Chi-Chi to be young, too. Something, too. What? Really? That was fast. Okay, gotta find them. Dang. Well then, that's probably a good thing they weren't used <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> that just got dark so quickly. <laughs> Well, there you guys go. That was my reaction to Dragon Ball GT episode one. I do have to say, I actually enjoyed the first episode of it. Um, I think it was kind of weird, the fact that Goku was turned into a child, but I guess in that way makes more sense. I don't know why in my head I thought for some reason Goku like wished himself to be younger, um, but I should have known once they had Ember Pilaf and his gang that something weird like that was gonna happen. Um, but overall, it took a really dark turn at the end. So I guess the earth will blow up if they don't find all of the Dragon Balls, which is kind of strange, but I guess it gives them a reason to look for them. So I'm pretty sure Goku's not gonna turn himself back into an adult throughout this entire series, just because from what I've seen, he's a kid the entire thing. Except when he turns Super Saiyan 4, which that still is kind of strange, but I guess I'll find out later why that is. But overall, I do have to say I'm excited to watch more of Dragon Ball GT. Whenever you get the first episodes, it's kind of just an opening to what you're going to get. So now I'm assuming that Goku's going to go travel and collect these Dragon Balls. So 
probably what we're gonna get next. I'm sure all of you already know what's gonna happen. Um, but I enjoyed watching it and I can't wait to watch it. If you like this video, give it a like. Also subscribe to my channel for more awesome Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Z content. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Oof. Stay fresh and bye. I have to swallow